Hello and welcome to GM Talks, where we're gonna talk about the Queen's Gambit decline today. Queen's Gambit strategy is the topic. We have our most successful video here on GM Talks has been the Carlsbad uh, structure uh, masterclass, which I think people like. Uh, and uh, and today we're gonna make a little bit of an uprush on uh, on that, uh, and we're gonna use the game Carolina versus So. It was a uh, Armageddon game, uh, so White had to win, uh, and he did so uh, in in the, from the Norway chess. That was, by the way, won by Nakamura, who overtook Carolina in the last round by beating him, and uh, is now number two in the world after Magnus Carlsen that who had a horrible tournament and seems to have lost all motivation for chess at the moment. Uh, I think he will be back uh, when he realizes that chess is nice and we like chess. Anyway, you're gonna get a little bit of uh, uh, uprush on what's happening in the Cosmos structure in the Queen's Gambit strategy. Uh, this is actually very popular on the highest level uh, and of course they have all seen uh, the GM talks uh, masterclass I'm sure anyway let's get into it uh, I'm gonna try to explain most of the moves um, so this is uh, and this is a typical way to white says okay you can play you are allowed to play the queen the nimso indian but uh, black says nah i'm gonna play the queen's gambit instead yeah, this is uh, if if you're uh, f sort of like to play against knight at three it makes sense to use this move order there's no downsides to this move order uh, there's only upsides unless you prefer to play bishop e7 systems anyway let's go um, and bishop d5 all uh, known as the exchange variation and c6 queen c2 preventing bishop f5 black would like to have that bishop outside here because it's, it can be a little bit difficult to develop this bishop in a lot of lines in the queen's game but even though white has exchanged on d5 and sort of open for the bishop the bishop is still the bad bishop because of uh, all the pawns here on uh, the white square so you would like to exchange that one here especially for this one here that is in general to black advantage also because uh, this square when white is trying to make a minority attack here right then this square becomes available for a knight uh, if if there's no white squared bishops on the board h6 that has become very top, uh, popular uh, recently to just um well, yeah, uh, you play h6 as the bishop immediately. Where are you going? Um, the thing is, with this move, it of course weakens the white squares. So uh, this square is now weaker than it was before. Uh, but it also has uh, upsides. The bishop is less flexible on h4 than, uh, than it is uh, on the other. And all this is well known. And actually, this line is supposed to be fine for black in general if you have this position where if white plays uh, black plays h6 you would go to f4 with the bishop you would not go to h4 so this is is, is sort of known as uh, fine for black uh, but of course it's um it's not so simple um we still have the typical uh, situation here white is is uh, hoping either to to launch a minority attack here and and saddle back with a weak pawn or to uh, get uh, these guys going here uh, and and attack on on the in the center and on the king side black has this uh, open file that is very important for his play and he's sort of trying to control the center as much as possible not getting any weaknesses and if he does get weaknesses uh, make sure he has some sort of compensation rook a e1 so white is is clearly showing that he is playing in the center and not on uh, the queen side at the moment knight here uh, developing by the way i think one of the main lines here is something like uh, the thing is you cannot play this move because this is is a is an absolute disaster right so we'll just uh, okay i'm getting uh, lines here we should not get lines 
so, so that's not good. Uh, you could also take with the bishop, but that is your good bishop, and something like this is also supposed to be fine. You can play f5, or you can might even play knight f6 here. This is uh, supposed to be okay for black. Uh, in general, this is, is, is sometimes white can may, uh, get some some uh, some activity, but it. it it's not okay and black keep a knight goes to the square we're getting ready for f3 and um bishop f5 so, so and, and it looks a little bit dangerous but by the way there is a, there's always a, this x-ray effect here so white, uh, white will uh, will not be able to to win a pawn on e4 because of f6 and and the pin decides so f3 knight takes and uh, for instance, if white, this looks natural, right? Um, and and this, of course, uh, but maybe you can take. Uh, actually, you can make. You can probably take that pawn and, and go to b4 afterwards. So it doesn't work. But even then, something like this, uh, followed by this, is also fine. Uh, we have noticed before that the knight is usually pretty good on this square. Um, so this is 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 not good for white band, but it it makes sense to transform the pawn structure, uh, hitting towards the center and getting some extra firepower to sort of uh, get an overhead. This pawn at the moment is not weak, uh, and this majority on the king's queen side is not worth much. So this looks uh, like a nice thing for white. The thing is, it's not much, right? If for instance you were to take with the queen here. Uh, which is possible, then I think black would just play this move uh, and something like this. This, this uh, is not really dangerous unless you have more pieces on the board. Uh, usually it's accompanied by some sort of an attack. Uh, and if you do, you can't attack, then it's you're more or less more weakening the pawn than actually attacking. So, uh, so this this is not nothing, I think. So uh, instead, he takes with a knight and makes sure it has a nice retreat. Um, this is also a good square. Of course, white is 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 preparing either e4 or oops, I keep putting that Windows button e4 or c4, um, and black is more or less just. Holding the position, getting ready to get some counterplay. He also does have uh, a possible uh, here uh, uh, square on this one, and there's uh, always the, the possibility to, to exercise pressure here on the e5. So, queen d6, rook here, rook here, very natural moves. Uh, both are preparing, um, and you could. Here, uh, if, if for instance black was to play, white was to play knight f2 to, to prepare e4, I think black would play c5 or, or maybe he would move the queen, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look that dangerous or knight h5 maybe just to, to disturb uh, white. c4, it makes sense um, using that pawn as a battering ram to, to get more uh, space. For in, if after something like this, um, white is probably uh, 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 clearly better because uh, now these these pawns here are um, are pretty strong and uh, if they move forward uh, they might cause some uh, some trouble in black's camp uh, and and also these this this structure here is is not very offensive it's just more like a defensive structure so it you could be run over here this is uh, so I, I would definitely recommend against uh, taking that one so he just plays b6 and if take here he will just take back with the pawn and say okay that's fine and then we'll play for the c file and i will always have counter play and this pawn is not really weak and then maybe one day my queen side majority will be something so white does something that looks very natural c5 uh, and uh, sort of uh, fixing this as a weakness uh, queen go back uh, an a4 um, and that's probably to prevent b5 i'm not sure you want to play b5 the thing is with, with b5 is is that you you will always have possibility to to make a, a pass pawn on the green side on the other hand this seems to be getting stronger after something like that but a4 makes sense because this is is definitely uh, looks dubious uh, with with the uh, with this pass, strong pass pawn and and two uh, central pawns more for white and and pretty good chances to actually uh, get something going and these these pawns here they it takes a long time for them to be dangerous so you're not afraid of them so so uh, but 
So, but so is not. Uh, he's not like the the kind of guy who panics. Uh, he just plays rook e6 and say, okay, I cover uh, cover this pawn here and and uh, queen c3. Uh, looks natural. I don't know why it looks good, but it's somehow uh, it should be on a black square. You can feel it. But it's also, of course, uh, trying to to liberate one of the rooks that at the moment are just standing there uh, but of course waiting to spring into action and black decides that he also needs some counterplay uh, at some point uh, and and this could be, uh, be be with this move it it does weaken the position and gives uh, an, a knight as a square here but but it could also uh, weaken white's king side position um, a knight goes here, and white is not uh, afraid. And I think he would just leave it there. He would not. If you go g4, you just say, "I don't care," and uh, and 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 just maybe play king h1 or something. It takes a long time to to get something going on the on the on the king side for black. So black uh, con continues here, but he's having this in reserve, and it's not. It's not like it's really weakening the king because white is, is far away from, from that. On the other hand, at some point you might want to have that pawn back on, on the d7. And white uh, decides to, to, to start put more pressure on the queen side. Queen e7 and a cool little move. Uh, eyeing uh, this way and I oh, did it again. And, uh, and, and eyeing this way. And queen d2. Um, I don't know. He's maybe he's preparing this move. Uh, could be knight d7. Also uh, to put more pressure here. He could also take actually and play knight. Uh, maybe I don't know. He could take a play knight d7. He probably could. Uh, and here you have to take back with the pawn due to tactical reason uh, with the knight due to tactical reasons. But it also makes sense because actually the knight has a very nice square here. So uh, this is uh, it's, it's not so bad I think. Um, if you take back with the pawn, then white has this move, boom, and and this pin is is uh, is destroying things. So e4. Um, getting ready for uh, and and the knight will not be stable on c4, so you're a little bit on reluctant to go go there. Um, instead, uh, black should think about something here, and I think he simply forgot that um, that he has a nice pin. He has a pin on on this pawn. So, because uh, he has uh, all these pieces pouring down, and so black, white is not threatening anything, actually. Well, he maybe he's threatening e5, but uh, so black should see his chance. So, but not taking on d5, not even with the knight or something. So here, uh, black should play c5, and I think uh, he's probably slightly better. Uh, this looks, uh, this looks like it's uh, it's at least not worse for for, for black, who's uh, because well. Uh, he, he will get rid of all, all the, the whole center will dis disappear and the a pawn might be be weak and and also the white's king is, is not better than black's king in this kind of s structures so c5 uh, would at least equalize i think uh, immediately instead he took and that's wrong um and here comes a5 that was white's uh, smart idea and he's simply undermining this square I did it again because the knight cannot go here uh, where it would like to go because of this one and again the pin is a problem uh, so and here he, he panicked completely he should just move the knight or something play uh, maybe take he takes on f3 could also be possible he played uh, e3 which is is probably a clear mistake um, taking the pressure off the, the e file queen e1 and the knight is hanging, and um, and d5 or knight d5 is in the air, and he played queen d7. The thing is, something like uh, like this is is really bad actually, because it comes here, and then uh, unless the queen is on f8, then he comes here, and we again this uh, this one really really mess you up. Um, which is, is is unfortunate. So so 
So, so panics and play queen d7, he does get some compensation, d5, avoiding the, the pin in the first place, but the pin still uh, will, will stand, knight d5, b5, and queen c5, and this is winning, it, it's not easily winning, but it is winning, uh, you have to, to, to play well with white, but he, that's one of the things with uh, Karana, he, he's very, very, very good at, at uh, not messing things like this up. Um, Queen d1, knight uh, d1, and, and the thing is, you you don't mind being a little bit passive as long as you get out. If you get out, you're you're fine. And uh, of course, there's a pin. Uh, notice he put the knight here to uh, uh, I get it again uh, to uh, to make sure he controls this square. So every piece is controlling this square. So the pawn will. Will the buck will stop there, uh, here at this square, because it's not going any further. Um, King e1, stepping out of the pin, and uh, well, uh, black can get a pawn, but it's not, it's not enough. Um, and check, and and this is is easily winning. Um, start with a3. It's I'm not sure it's necessary, but the queen is is a little bit out of uh, the game at the moment. And check, and check, and. And um, and take the pawn. Um, I think he's, he would rather not have that he loses uh, the b pawn with, with with check. So now at least he has some hopes. But of course, uh, in with the, with the hopeless king, uh, this makes no. Um, and here uh, it's not easy where where you're going here here and and you can't go on the b file because then it's dropping so you go here it comes here and where you're going now uh, not so easy uh, if you go here then, then there's this move if you go uh, here or here you can't go here or here if you go here there is uh, there's this move and so on so you have to go here which is of course very annoying you lost the, the last pawn and now it's it's, it's it's pretty easy and the knight comes in and uh, here he resigned he's losing everything uh, he's actually uh, cannot avoid the exchange of queens so uh, a very nice game by Karana and uh, so misses his chances after I think a successful opening with the queen's gambit strategy here um, if you have any questions or you would like to see more about the queen's gambit strategy then check into uh, the master class on the Carlsbad structure the Carlsbad structure is the one with the pawns on um, on, on c6 d5 uh, versus uh, d4 e3 this was dm talks thank you <laughs>